Hey everyone. So in this video I want to make a video for people who feel like they don't love themselves fully and feel beyond like the idea of loving themselves but feel like they are a beautiful person, a lovely human being, a beautiful spirit that they're deserving of the best relationship in life, they're deserving of lots of money, abundance not necessarily outdoing or overly out competing others but just abundance for all and we're deserving of our healthy share of health vibrant health beyond f sickness <coughs> vibrant health beyond freedom of sickness that we're deserving of like happiness a nice home peace love to be received and get given to us in the form of presence nice words compliments favors quality time sweet behavior overall sweetness in life so I want to say the reason why many people do not love themselves or feel that they are lovable and worthy is because simply one simple reason everyone is it's simply nothing to do with the truth that you aren't that you're a bad person or anything it's not to do with what you made the mistakes you've made in the past because that's life we all make mistakes it's simply got to do with the fact that the media and the, the, the powers that be in the world, the news and all the corruption, they try and instill in you fear and also the fact that you're not perfect, like stuff like you're not good enough looking, you're not like a model, um, as if a sexuality is wrong or your, your hair isn't nice the way it is, you have to get colouring or like your nose isn't good enough or your boobs you have to get like cosmetic surgery all and then they even like color print the magazine so that people's skin looks perfect and it's artificial so they're always trying to make the idea that we have a problem with us that there's something wrong with us that we are not whole or like we're not wholesome and perfect so my message to people who feel hard to feel that they're deserving and worthy and love for themselves and to make choices that represent self-love in the form that they receive and allow in and keep really beautiful positive things in their life and say no to really unhealthy or destructive things I want you to just to know that it's just a lie that you've been fed and I'm not trying to say that you should just let go of this in an instant, but some of us can, but a lot of us, most of us have been traumatized, so if you find it hard to feel you're worthy, it takes time, because the trauma is deep, deep down in our bones, in our cells. Yeah, it encourages you all to get healing from healers like myself or other people who you resonate with or in your area or on the internet, any place, just get some healing and clarification of energy, of heart, mind and spirit. So, I'd encourage you to check my video about self-love here and just keep learning from life and the lessons and the tests that you're given. Um, little by little make new decisions and choices based on what nurtures you in body, mind and spirit. Food, habits, daily lifestyle choices. So it's not too difficult really, it's just a one step by step decision and choice at a time. And it doesn't matter if you fall back into old habits or you find it hard to break a current habit that's not optimal for your highest good because a lot of these habits and patterns and addictions are deeply ingrained so it takes a mixture of self-honesty and self-reflection and healing from the past like by seeing healers and also just letting go of things and healing yourself and opening your heart and forgiving opening up your heart so in my life this is what's happened so this is a personal story um, it's taken me a long time to get over certain things like I've had unhealthy like food addictions and food habits that didn't serve my highest good um, just felt I was out of control and like just once I'd start I couldn't stop and all sorts of stuff you know and even like maybe I'm fast in learning some things like you are too but then in other areas have it like you're slow to learn and it, like for me years down years later I realized whoa how did I miss that? Like I've re I've learned now, but I missed it all this time. So, 
even though I think I'm clever enough in some areas, like I just, it was too much for me. So what I'd like to say is there's a time and a place for everybody and there's a way for everybody. So what's good for one at one time isn't good or ready for another person at another t in the same time or in the same way. So, so just be gentle on yourself and other people and just focus on gratitude and being grateful for like the good things in your life. But don't use gratitude as a way to pretend or deny or overlook the, the negative things, things that aren't good or positive, okay? But just have understanding, patience and love towards things that about yourself or other people or about your life that are not like positive or like beautiful or amazing or in harmony and in control, etc. In harmony, etc. So, um, it's very, it's essential, as I said in, in the starting of the video, to realize the lies that we've been fed are programming and brainwashing and conditioning. And when we do, then we can let go of the lie. Like, if somebody said I'm a midget or I'm a, a dwarf or like I'm a female or I'm blue skinned, obviously. If I happen to believe them, I'd, I'd live with that. But if I just know it's rubbish, like, pfft. Same with the idea that like the media and the, the, the powers that be try and tell us like lots of fear-based and false disempowering information about what's healthy and what's not healthy and all sorts of stuff. And the way we should live and all sorts of the way we shouldn't live, the things we shouldn't do and how we should live our daily life and all these like social and like overall etiquettes and norms. Once you see the lie and you get clear in your mind, then you, you can take empowered action. So and you can let go of the rubbish. If you believe the rubbish, of course you can't let go of it, you're stuck to it. But if you, let, if you see it clearly and you know it's rubbish, you can let go much easier. It helps us even if it's a small change little by little. So keep making progress and don't mind if you like step, if you, if you like fall back a little bit. Part of the journey of life is we go on and off, generally speaking. Sometimes people go, really quick big change but then there's a rebound factor they plummet um, so the most lasting outer change in physical life happens when we've made lasting deep inner change so outer life is just a reflection of our inner world of beliefs and perspective which is a form of belief also how we see things for example you can believe something is terrible and it has a certain emotional effect or you can believe something is opportunistic and um, you can believe things is perfect divine perfection and you can take appropriate action to change things if they're not to your preference um, or you can get super like victimhood story so it's all about how we perceive and believe our outlook and our attitude so I think I've said enough on this topic, everybody. Um, <sighs> such a nice day here in Coston, Canada. I'll let you go, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, I'm having some traveling at the moment, so I'm going to a few different countries. And thanks for everyone's openness and not jumping to assumptions and uh, willingness to have a better life, because. That's the way I am personally. I love to have a better life in any way, a better heart, more, more harmony and balance within me. And I love to make better choices and decisions, which is, that's what life is made out of, your choices and decisions daily. By the, by the afternoon, by the, by the night, by the day. And when we become clear on what we want and what we deserve, then we can become very powerful creators and manifestors. So, I'm gonna get away from a little bit of music. Anyway, everyone, have a lovely day and lots of love and blessings, sincerely. Um, we're all one human family, cosmic family. We all deserve love to give and to receive. It feels good to be kind and to be of some form of contribution or service. Most people who are depressed, they just, they're disconnected. Same as stress and sadness and not meeting our own needs. So. Okay, everyone, have a lovely day and lovely week and month and year and life. And I'll see you again another time. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. <laughs> Digger's still in the same place. <laughs>